White patriarchy is the sworn enemy of feminist and black feminist everywhere. Imagine liking white boys when you're black. I mean, they can't stop talking about it. They are consistently challenging, acknowledging, calling out, and trying to combat the issues that they face as it relates to white patriarchy. So I'm a brown girl. I like a little vanilla in my life. Recently, a pro-black woman, LGBTQ plus trans advocate, went viral for having a lot of derogatory things to say, not only towards white men, but towards white people as a whole. I mean, she had a whole lot of negative things to say regarding the way white people have made her life and the life of black woman a living hell. Check it out. Okay, this isn't like full shade towards you. I just see a lot of comments like this and this was the most recent one, so I'm just responding to this one. When white people say shit like this, it isn't the serve they think it is. Like you're a part of the problem, fix your people, bro. Like when white people are like, I'm white and white people do suck. Yeah, you're probably a part of those said white people, so do something about it, the fuck? Also, I hate when white people try to validate me. Like they're literally like, I'm white, but I agree. Bro, I don't know if you noticed, but I don't need validation from white people. Don't need validation from white people. Little white men from the United States scurry to me like rats. That's the last thing I need in my life. Like, I feel like white people always try, but they miss. Like, and I feel bad for y'all. Not that bad, though. This world is the hype. When I see a cute guy, I always gotta think. Bad enough where I want to call you out and tell you not to leave comments like this because it's crusty. Anyways, for all the bleach demons willing to learn, I see you. You're not as bad as the rest video got a lot of negative feedback. I mean, she had some pretty derogatory things to say towards white people, calling them out their name, um, saying that they sting. I mean, they, she just had some really awful derogatory things to say. But listening to her, you would think that this woman wants nothing to do with white people until you saw this. As you can see, this pro-black woman, LGBTQ plus trans advocate who is fighting and railing against white patriarchy just so happens to have a white boyfriend. But here's why this is important. While this on the surface looks incredibly hypocritical, the reality is this is actually a lot more common than you think. Black feminists have the reputation for choosing white men or white women. P preferably the deconstructed male that favors Justin Bieber or Ellen. Um, this is very much a thing. So much so that when you started to look at some of the comments, you had countless people basically saying, duh, <laughs> this is standard operating procedure. We've all seen this before. We are all familiar with the pro-black feminist who is constantly raging against patriarchy, constantly using woke terms, constantly talking about how much they love black people, standing next to a white boyfriend, um, creating mixed kids, while at the same time raging and complaining about texturism, featurism, colorism. Like this is standard operating procedure. And truthfully, this is one of the reasons I think black feminism has gotten a bad rap. How can you claim to be for black people? How can you claim to be for black women when many of you don't even believe in creating black women? At the same time, you are raging against the patriarchal standards that reinforce texturism and colorism and featurism, but then at the same time going and creating kids who are reinforcing that very same system of oppression, creating mulata babies. And so this kind of hypocrisy is something that has really gotten under the skin of people. Um, I mean, black men have been talking about this for a long time. And truthfully, I think it's why many of them don't even take it seriously. It's like, you really claim to be pro-black. You complain about white men all the time. You complain about white patriarchy all the time. And it's probably because you're just sleeping with them. That's probably the real reason you're just so upset. I mean, this is, this is what a lot are saying. So it was just a textbook example of the perception about black feminism and why it gets pushed back. As I've mentioned before, 
I have no problem if a person wants to date interracially. I mean, of course, I am for black love. I will always promote it. I believe in it. I love being a married to a black man. So that is always my choice. But no shade to anybody who decides to date and marry out. But um, I always believe that if you do decide to date and marry out, um, try to be as respectful as possible to people in your own community. And then I would think that you should also be respectful to the community that you are marrying into. And it does strike me as incredibly odd when I see black women this black feminists who are raging against white people and white patriarchy laid up next to white men like to me I that's that just to me has always struck me as very odd and very confusing feminism has obviously come under a lot of fire because of some of the different dynamics and the way that men across the board have felt marginalized and so um, examples like this again just reflect the tension now that is happening and they reflect the gender dynamics of how um, people are no longer just taking feminism or they're no longer just taking these ideas at face value, but they're really questioning it and they're really looking at the lifestyles and trying to understand, is this stuff real? Is this stuff valid? So again, I think this is just a really powerful example of why feminism as a whole has really been coming under a lot of scrutiny an opportunity to be like look wait <laughs> why am i believing what i'm believing is what i'm believing actually real and valid what do you think do you agree or disagree let me know leave your questions comments concerns in the comment section below thank you so much for listening if you've gotten this far and we'll talk later bye